fish on. It's like so slow. Very nice. And Danny's here. Awesome. All right, possibly the worst YouTuber on the planet, always forgetting to film everything. But uh, I've come out here, I'm in about 260 meters of water. Fish on, we'll see what comes up. Looks red. Little ruby, look at that. Fishing trip's over. We've just picked up Danny and Caitlin there over there in the water. Just found some mantas and I'm gonna throw the drone up now. See so how we go. Get some footage from the air for ya. spotted a whale shark which um, the girls managed to get onto as well so I'll roll on some footage of that too. So we're just looking for stuff and things and Caitlin's trying to convince me to get in the water. But it looks really wet. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, the mantas are up there. That way. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Super low tide at the moment. How cool is this big porat coral sticking out of the water? When they stick out of the water like that, they secrete a type of mucus which kind of acts like a sunscreen to help protect them from the open air. Pretty cool. All right, super low tide. We're in the keyhole where we run our tours. And look at it. We're gonna try and sneak in there. See if we can do this without breaking anything. Oh, 
a little, little rogue bit picking up over there. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look at the oil slick on the surface. I think that's just like the lee from the corals oh. creating a lee. Wow. Or it might be them releasing some mucus, eh? Hey? Could be. So you can see we're in our little snorkel spot we call the keyhole. Some really cool features that you can see. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. Some really cool features you can see down here is where we normally drop the anchor in this sand so people can get out and walk around. You can see we've got a bommie over there behind you, Caitlin, that's about 500 years old that we go over quite regularly. Obviously right now we can't go over that because that's sticking out of the water. And then all this beautiful stag coral over here is sticking out of the water. And I think the tide at the moment, I'll just check it, is 0.32. So we're still going out a little bit. We're on the bottom now. We're in the sand. Wow. And I'm going to get out. Woohoo! Uh, there's the boat. We're on the anchor, Danny and Caitlin. You can see it's quite shallow here. The boat is still floating. But we did a YouTube video last year uh, out here in this exact spot, talking about the coral sticking out of the water. You can see Caitlin doing a bit of science in that one. But we'll just wander over here and check out this stag coral. Look at it, it really does smell. I don't remember it smelling like this last year, do you? No, but maybe because it's sunny now. Last time we saw it, it was almost dark. pretty dark. Where's that blue patch? That blue patch is over there. Wow. Wow, it really smells. Wow, it's so cool. Science with Caitlin. Ones that are sticking out are like really, really pale. Hopefully, that's not that bad. No, I think they'll be fine. It's still pretty cool. <laughs> now, everyone, follow me. <laughs> the colours in the coral. Oh, wow. Danny's having a good time over there by the sounds of things. Uh, I'm quite confused as to where I am because normally I'm snorkeling here. Get lost. Here, this is where the anemone is. The anemone is in there. Is there an anemone? There it is. Hi, oh, look at the fish in the pool. Oh, where's all the convict tangs gone? Here we go, Danny's just reading us a review. Do you want the whole thing? Mate. What's the whole thing? I'm going to save it out for Oh, okay. Barry and I were looking for a more intimate experience with the reef and have done some research and chose the glass bottom boat to our exploration, thinking we would get a boat skipper and crew to take us out and bring us home. We were really pleased when we met one of the other crew who was having a day off with her mum to do the same cruise while we were waiting to board and she told us she was a marine biologist. Then the real fun started when we met Leah and Caitlin, being skipper and deckhand respectively. Caitlin, similarly a marine biologist with a clear passion for the location, proceeded to give us the geology, geography and marine biology background to what we were about to see all done without pretense and delivered with humour and a smile while Leah kept the boat tidy and the snorkelers safe. The marine life we swam with was just stunning, the water glorious and the cruise was ideal for us given the time limit we had. Thanks for running such a great cruise and thanks, most of all, thanks for employing such great people. 
They really made the day memorable for all the right reasons. All the best, Chris and Mary. Thanks, Chris and Mary. And look at that, we knocked off five hours ago, but we're still here. <laughs> we love our job. <laughs> Just on a different boy. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, how nice is that? Lovely with you. Yeah, the sea panda. Woo. I feel like the sea panda's on the bottom. Yeah. yeah, it's not hanging in the wind, mate. Yeah, it does seem to be on the bottom. Yeah, so what we're going to do... The outboard's definitely on the bottom. So lift that up a bit. You can see it's on the bottom because that's no, where. No, it was just the ah! Don't stand on dead coral. That's a hole. It hurt. In your foot now. <laughs> yep, my ankle. All strapped up. Still not enough. <laughs> All right, look at that. So that's the boat ramp over there. Now that's Danny. That's the boat ramp over there. There's the bommy I was talking about before. I don't know what I'm pointing at, but I'm pointing in that direction. And yeah, we're going to head in. So, push back and twist, but it never worked for me. Slow tide now, we're outside the outer reef, but you can just see whoop, the outer reef sticking out there. Pew, pew. A bit aggressive. <laughs> 